So we had our first export and you can see it's pretty easy. Right now we are exporting using collection while retrieving the data from database. But in some cases we won't be exporting the exact data that we have in the DB. So what we can do is to create the data for the export inside our controller and then pass it to our Excel file. So for that let's create a controller named exports controller and inside I'm gonna define only one method called export. Now inside this method let's retrieve the data from the DB and pass it along to the Excel file as a constructor parameters. And now we can store this data as a property of this class. So we have already seen the collection export. We can also create an export file from an array. For that we only need to implement another interface that is provided by Laravel Excel called from array. And now instead of collection method we need to add a method named array which will return an array of data. And now we can simply export like previously we were doing with the collection. Another way to export is write the query inside the export file. For this we will simply implement another interface from query and as you might have guessed it, it will allow us to write the query inside the excel file. This interface requires only one method to be defined named query. For this let's now not use the users table, instead let's write a query now to retrieve orders that has an amount of over 50. I know this is a user export class and for orders we should have a newer export class but for now I just want to give you an example on how you can export using this interface. Now let's go to the browser and hit our endpoint. We can see our export file has orders with an amount of above 50. This way of exporting has one benefit that it will execute the query in chunks. So if you want to export a large amount of data this is also a good option. Just make sure you don't return the result of the query by using get or pag pagination because that way the chunks won't work. One last way to export is by using blade files. In this way you can create a blade file with html table element and use it to create an export. For this we have a from view interface and a method named view. I've also created a blade file named orders inside the resources view folder and inside I have defined a simple html table structure with header and three columns. Let's pass the data to this view file and for the data I have changed it inside the controller to retrieve all the orders instead of the users. So now let's go to the browser and download the excel file. And we can see the data is structured in the way we have defined the table in our blade file. Also you can notice one thing that now we have the headings row at the top which were missing previously. Now let's see how we can have headings with exports generated without the blade view. 